guys, so today it's me and my dad baking. I think I got it right. Have I? So no, you we had it, to put it on 200. You want it two, two little ones before that one where it says 250. So you want it two before that. Okay, so this is how I make a cake. So, well, <laughs> so put it on 200, like on 50, but you leave two lines before that. So yeah, get that started. It's very, 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 very hard for me and granddad. But... Have you? You know what to do. It's just um, it's easy, and don't lick the spoon because it will spread jams. So yeah, I don't know. Well, it's whoa, 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 whoa. It's too much now. Oh great. Maybe you want it two before the two hundred and fifty. Okay. So, after you've done the butter, you go wash your hands, there don't you? you? Chuck that in with the sugar then. So, you chuck it in with the sugar, if I can. I can't. <laughs> and if my nanny's watching this, which she probably is, then that's good, because then she can bake a cake. <laughs> So let me wash my hands and you need to be re don't put the shells in the eggs. That's why. Ouch. Don't make it too hot. Yeah. Can I have it? Thanks. So always use a towel washing your hands. Uh, what's next? So guys. Eggs. I am back. So you want me to crack all four of those? Yeah. So, and I did go in the open. So, you've got four eggs. Be extremely careful with these. Don't eat these because they're raw. Always look if there is an eggshell. Put them in the recycling. Not in the bin. The real bin. Yeah. I'm gonna come in your house. Thank you that. So four would be enough. I'm gonna put five or a taste eggy, isn't that right, Randad? Yeah. Say hi to the camera. Hi to the camera. <laughs> yeah, after you've done that, you wash your hands. I know the places where I've um. hurt myself. Um, so guys, yeah, after you've done that, my, well, you get a parent, or if you've trained to do this, uh, I think you put it in the bowl, isn't that right? Yeah. So, after you put it in the bowl, and then you mix. Okay? What do I mix with? A spoon? This? No, a big wooden one. So, you use a big wooden one. If you don't have a wooden one, don't panic. You could just use a fork. It doesn't very matter. Show the camera what you got. Yes, this is what you need. Am I allowed it? Because I need it. This is the end. No shells. Put it in there then. What? Put it in the bowl. I need 200 of that. Oh, so you need 200 of flour. As you can see, you need rails for these. How I do Yeah! However, you say it, it's just cracked egg all over there. Make sure you know what you're doing because you might get a bit messy, you know. <laughs> So yes, you need three of them off this. I always use a big spoon. So yeah, um, Nan can learn cooking or you, yeah, and then you'll be able to do it by yourself by watching this video. Subscribe if you really liked it. Subscribe down at my channel. 
So yeah. Is it two before t two before the big one? Two before two hundred and fifty. We've got a long way to go. It loads yet. Can I see? Go and tip it in. The quicker. It'll come behind now. Look, spill the load behind. Do you want me to just tip it in a bit quicker and get it in the oven? Yep. So? Is that two before? Yep. Yes. So, my random will be helping even if you get a bit muddled. You can there get you your parents to do it. <laughs> After you've done that, you pour it in and you start doing your mixing. You need two tablespoons of that. Oh, wait, you well, need... And the flour. Put the flour in. Coco! You need two... Oh. Oh. Right. <coughs> two tablespoons Be careful, because... It gets messy. Okay? Oh, so then you need cocoa. There's a tablespoon gone. Right here. That's a teaspoon. A tablespoon. Oh, I washed it. You got another one out there. So, if you accidentally use a big one, just get another. No need to listen carefully on this video. So, you need two spoonfuls, big. Yeah. So. Do it over the bolt. There are two big ones. That's on it. That's it. I'll put a little, another little half of one or something. That'll do. Right, leave the spoon there though, because we need that again in a minute. Right, need a teaspoon. <gasps> and then you use a teaspoon. A teaspoon of that. Oh, let them show. And then you use this. It could for raisin cakes and and past pastries. Baking powder. Yes, and make sure to get the right one. And got. No, you want no to get a level teaspoon. Yeah, that'll do. So then you use a bit to like here. The a whole little bit of that. Spoon. Oh yeah. And you Half a teaspoon of that. This. The Majesty Vanilla. Yes. Half a teaspoon. I know, and then you put half in. That's probably all it's. Oh, that'd be enough. It's you use this now, much. Yeah. You pour that all around. It looks a bit like syrup to you. Uh. But it's not. <laughs> Two tablespoons so, of milk. So, yeah, Miranda's. I pour the milk, all the teaspoons. And I am on video, so yes, you get two big spoons of milk. Green milk, whatever milk you drink. Straight. And you use one big, big and two, two big ones. And then what you do is you put it in the wash. Oh, and then show them. You get a salt. Tiny pinch. And then you take put a tiny bit on your hand. Like this. And then take a pinch, spread it around. Yeah. So after you finish that, you start doing the mixing. Yeah. Yep. So you start mixing. Mix it, mix it, mix it with this spatula. And then show jar. And then you got to say hi to the camera. Don't be shy. Hi. <laughs> so yeah. Nanny might be watching this. So yeah. If she in, that's good. Because then you can learn how to cook like a chef. Mix that all around. Remember to listen carefully or it does get messy. If it's too small, just grab a chair. If it goes wrong, give it to Grandad to do. Uh, yeah, give it 
for your parents to do, but you got to blame it was all them. I'm going to give it a good old quick one now then. Let's say mix it all together so it's all... You've got to mix it all together. I'm going to give it a good one that. there. Your parents might have to do it. So you see how loud that is? Yeah, that is what it has to look like. And then we'll show you after we finish this. Because it is really cool and I like licking the bowl. <laughs> Remember to do this after dinner or your dinner will be ruined because it takes a long time to bake. So yeah. Remember to use a good equipment for your hand. And yeah, my granddad is doing very good. Right, I'll fill And there it is. Big chocolate. Then you fill it in your pans that you've buttered and put it still. <laughs> if you haven't done that quick, you've got to do it very quickly. You use a black spoon. Keep the other one in so you can scrape it off, not your hands. Remember to put the right amount in each one and it's equal. So you probably take a little chunk first. Anyway, it could be for anyone you want. Just make sure it's special because this is so special for my mum. So, what the heck? Look again, Dad. You okay? Mm. You camera shy. Mm. Aww, baby, baby. So my granddad is a very good chef. So he might be on the baking today one day. <laughs> a bake off, the British bake off. <laughs> so I'm definitely not going to be on the British bake off because I am not a good chef. Anyway. If your parents leave, don't worry. Keep on watching the video. Don't be shy. Remember to subscribe. If you do not, I will get angry and I am watching you. So, when your parents are gone, it's very, very simple, okay? So, if you're shy, don't worry because it's very yummy after you have finished you do whatever you want cocoa like anything but me and my dad and i prefer chocolate anyway my parents let me cook if your parents don't let you cook no problem and i've done a little splat Earthly. Shall I finish it off? Yes, please. Use a spoon, <laughs> so, really. yeah. You use the spatula. Oh, no, we're not done. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, my dad's going to start mixing for me. Oh, sorry. It's not. I didn't get anything. So, he might be in the way. Don't worry, guys. I'm just kidding. He just sorts them out. I'm going to eat this. Is that okay? If you want, I love it. Uh, it's very yummy. You always got to taste it first. Never use a dog or a cat. Just use your um yourself. Because <laughs> cats get sick and dogs and they explode. <laughs> and that won't run bad. Mm. They will explode. Mm. I'm not eating that. So guys, um, videos are very good, wasn't it? Like, let me show you what we have made. So, we need you. Mm. 
Nan. You get this. You got it all down. So, yeah. So yes. Um, Need a boo boo on the. So yeah. After you put them in the um um oven. So how long, Granddad? Uh, half an hour. So, you put them in in half an hour and put it in the oven. Make sure it's a good oven, like, you know, like this. And then what you do is, after you leave about half an hour, then you're ready to put icing or anything like that. But I'm not sure if we're putting icing or not. So, let me kindly ask Granddad. So, are we putting any icing on? Not today. No, so no icing today. But on the next video, we might put, like, some cream, if you have whipped cream and all that. Makes it look delicious. So, yeah, put toppings on if you want. So, bye, guys. Hope you like my video.